Good day, students. I am your mathematics teacher, Mom MJ Delia. So let's have a G. E times negative seven. Okay, negative fifty-six. Negative nine times negative eight. Okay, seventy-two. Negative nine times one third is equal to negative three. Negative thirty-six divided by four is equal to negative nine. Negative twenty-four divided by negative four. Okay, is equal to six. 9 divided by 27 is equal to 1 third. 3 squared is equal to 9. 5 cubed, 125. 6 raised to 4, correct, 1,296. So our lesson for this week is all about geometric sequence. So here are the objectives. Illustrate a geometric sequence. Differentiate a geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence. Determine the nth term of a geometric sequence. So let's define geometric sequence. A geometric sequence, also known as geometric progression, is a set of terms in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the same fixed number called the common ratio, which is commonly represented by small letter r. So the common ratio, it is a constant multiplied to each term of a geometric sequence to obtain the next term of the sequence. So let's have examples. So 6, 12, 24, and 3, 9, 27. So this are a, an example of a geometric sequence. So let's first get the common ratio. So 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. So we're going to multiply 2 to get the next term. 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. So multiply it by the next term to get the next term. So therefore, the common ratio is 2. And the next term is 48. So we multiply the common ratio. So let's next have the example, next example, 3, 9, 27. So get the common ratio. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 27 divided by 9 is also equal to 3. So therefore, the common ratio is 3. So to get the next term, we're going to multiply 27 by 3, so the answer is 8 to 1. Find the common ratio. Divide the second term by the first term and so on. So the first example is 3, 9, 27, 8 to 1. The second example is 8 to 1, 27, 9, and 3. So get the common ratio. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. 8 to 1 divided by 27 is also equal to 3. So therefore, the common ratio of the first example is 3. Next, 27 divided by 8 to 1 is equal to 1 third. 9 divided by 27 is equal to 1 third. 3 over 9 is equal to 1 third. So therefore, the common ratio is 1 third. So to get the next term of the first example, we're going to multiply it by 3. So we will get 243. So the next is 3 times 1 third. The answer is 1. So let's determine the given example is an arithmetic or geometric sequence. Number 1, negative 10, negative 50, negative 252. Okay, so that is a geometric sequence because it has a common ratio of 5. Number 2, 24, 12, and 6. So this is an example of geometric. The common ratio is equal to 1 half. Number 3, 8, 16, 32. So this is also an example of a geometric sequence since it has a common ratio of 2 number 4 so obviously this is an example of an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference of negative 12 So let's have another example. Find the common ratio and the next term of the geometric sequence. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to answer this example.
Next is finding the n term of a geometric sequence. So the formula in finding the n term of a geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is equal to n term of the sequence, a sub 1 is equal to the first term of the sequence, r is the common ratio. First example, find the 20th term in the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27. So the given R, A sub N is equal to A sub 20, which is the unknown. A sub 1 is equal to 1. N is equal to 20, so we have 20 terms. And R is equal to 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. So the formula is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. So the solution is... Just substitute the given to the formula. So e sub n is equal to e sub 20. e sub 1 is equal to 1 times r, which is 3. And n is equal to 20, then minus 1. Then simplify 3 raised to 20 minus 1. So we will get 3 raised to 19. So multiply 3 by itself 19 times. So we will get... So what will be the answer? Okay, so 3 raised to 19 is equal to 1,162,261,467. So the next example is 1,3,9,27. So find the 10th term. So the given R, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 10. A sub 1 is equal to 1. N is equal to 10. And R is equal to 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. So the solution is, so a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Just substitute the given to the formula. So we have a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 3 raised to 10 minus 1. So a sub 10 is equal to, simplify 3 raised to 10 minus 1. So we will get 3 raised to 9. So a sub 10 is equal to, 19,683. So let's have another example. 2, 8, 32, 128. Find A sub 9. So the given R, A sub N is equal to A sub 9. A sub 1 is equal to 2. N is equal to 9. And R is equal to 4. So write the formula. Then substitute the given to the formula. So we have... A sub 9 is equal to 2 times 4 raised to 9 minus 1. Then simplify. So we will get 131,072. Okay, now it's your turn. So solve this. So find the 10th term of the sequence 42100. So the given R, E sub N is equal to E sub 10, E sub 1 is equal to 4, N is equal to 10, R is equal to 5. So the formula is E sub N is equal to E sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. So we have E sub 10 is equal to 4 times 5 raised to 10 minus 1. Then E sub 10 is equal to 4 times 5 raised to 9. Simplify 5 raised to 9, so we have 4 times 1,953,125 So the final answer is 7,812,500 So did you get the correct answer? Okay, so let's have an activity So learning test 1 To determine if the pattern illustrates geometric sequence or not So 1 to 5 Okay then Learning test 2 you're going to identify the common ratio and the next three terms of the sequence. So given the first example. So the common ratio is 2, so just multiply 2 by 16, so we will get 32. 
times 2, we will get 64 times 2 is 128. Okay, then the next task you're going to translate the word I love you very much in French. So, you're going to decode your answer on the decoder. Okay, then write your answer on the blank. So, the French word for I love you very much is, so you're going to answer that. Then, letter C, find the tantrum of the geometric sequence. Okay, so thank you for listening.